Okay, let us go through question number नाइन Dan either walks or cycles to school. The probability that he cycles to school is वन by फाइव Write down the probability that Dan walks to school. So cycles to school is one by five. Probability that he cycles to school is one by five. The remaining will be walks to school. So you know the maximum probability can be one. So one minus one over five. We'll check with calculator. So it will be one minus one over five will be equal to four by five. So four by five will be the probability that Dan walks to school. Answer four. Over five. The part is there are two hundred days. In a school, working days are two hundred. So work out the expected number of days that then cycles to school. Keep in mind, cycles to school is probability of one by five. So we'll have to use one by five, not four by five, because four by five is probability walk to school. Cycles to school is probability one by five. So we will use one by five. One. Over five multiplied by two hundred days, so two hundred days. We will calculate. Let us check with the calculator. So one over five multiplied by two hundred will be equal to forty. So answer will be forty days. Question number nine. Rearrange the formula. Five w minus three y plus seven is equal to zero. To make w as the subject. So w we have to make subject. So we will shift rest of everything to the other side of equality. Three y also and seven also will shift to other side. So we'll get the five w is equal to. 3y minus 7. Now we can divide both sides by 5 to get rid of this 5. So this will be cancelled. W will be equal to 3y minus 7 over 5. This will be our answer. We will copy this answer over here. 3y minus 7 over 5. Question number three. Joel spins a fair five-sided spinner, numbered two, three, four, five, six. Write down the probability that the spinner lands on an odd number. Odd number will be three and five. So there are two odd numbers out of five. So probability will be two over five. So we write two over. Five. A prime number. Prime number out of these five numbers. Prime number is two, three, and five. These three are prime numbers. So three out of five. So probability for a prime number will be three by five. So we'll write answer three by five. The number seven, which is missing, which is not included in these five numbers. So probability will be zero. So we'll write probability for getting seven will be zero. B part: 
the table shows the results of his first 20 spins so this is the table showing the details write down the mode mode mean most occurring most occurring number if we check the table is this one four is most occurring because it occurs more frequently which is six so we will write answer as four calculate the mean to calculate mean we will have to multiply these two two multiply by three in brackets plus this multiply by this which is three multiply by two plus four multiply by six plus 5 multiplied by 4 plus 6 multiplied by 5 and we'll have to divide by the the number of spins which is 20 so if we solve it with calculator we'll get an answer 4.3 Joel wants to draw a pie chart to show the results in the table. Show that the sector angle for the number 2 is 54. So if we, if we check um, for number 2, frequency for number 2 is 3. Frequency for number 2 is 3. We will write 3 divided by 20. 3 out of 20 times will be 2. Multiply by 360. So, the, if we solve with calculator, 3 divided by 20 multiply by 360 this will be equal to 54 degrees which is required B part find the sector angle for number 6 if we check number 6 is occurring 5 times so find the sector angle for number 6 5 times out of 20 5 times out of 20 multiply by 360 and if we solve this with calculator 5 divided by 20 multiply by 360 this will be equal to 90 degrees so answer will be 90 degrees C part, Joel asks 30 students to guess the number that the spinner will land on the next. On next, this pie chart shows the results. Part 1 The sector angle for the number of, uh, 6 is 168 degrees. This one is 168 can show here 168 degrees how many students guessed the number 6 so by calculator the complete pie chart is of 360 so 360 divided by total number of student is 30 so divided by 30 will be equal to 12 this one this will be equal to 12 so 168 divided by 12 we will divide this by calculator 168 divided by 12 is equal to 1 uh, is equal to 14 so our answer is 14 find the percentage of the students who guessed a number less than 5 so we'll have to measure 
the angle for less than 5 so for less than 5 we will measure this drawing from pie chart we will check less than 5 is is this shaded portion this one we will check the angle for this and we will fix tractor over here and this is showing us 155 up to this line is showing us 155 so angle is 1 angle is 155 so find the percentage of students who guessed the number less than 5 so angle will be 155 out of 360 so will be um, 155 divided by 360 and multiply by 100 because we need the percentage also and we'll solve with the calculator and we will get answer will get answer 43.3 Joel spins the spinner 10% of the students guessed correctly which number did the spinner land on So 10% of the, we'll have to check 10% is which angle, so for 10%, so we will check, ten percent angle must be 10 divided by 100 10% 10 of 360 will be equal to 36 10% 10, 10% of 360 is equal to 36 now we will check which angle is 36 in this diagram if we check with protector this angle for this one fit here this angle is 36 so this portion which is spinner lands on 5 this angle is 36 so our answer will be 5 spinner lands at 5 so we will write here 5 because 5 is the uh, number on which spinner is landing for 36 degrees so 36 degrees answer will be 5